look, thank you everybody for coming. I really appreciate it. Uh, I know this is a hot topic. It's become more and more important. So we're going to do this in a, in a few uh, um, bunches here. First, we're just going to go over some things that uh, you probably already know, but I think it's always good to just cover the basics up front. And then we'll get into the actual process of uh, posting reviews with the, the goal here of being to um, get more reviews, but also uh, posting only the good ones. We'll talk about that. And then there's, we'll talk about monitoring uh, and managing your online presence. And then finally, um, how, you know, kind of responding to the inevitability that there might be a bad review that comes in and how to, to manage that. And then we'll do Q and A. And then as I said, then we'll, we'll also talk specifically about our software. So I'm going to go fast. I mean, 20 or 30 minutes <laughs> isn't much. So um, uh, we'll, you know, could always, if you see something you want us to drill down further, put it in the Q and A. So obviously, um, you know, online uh, ratings has become more and more important. Um, you know, it's I think as as Bambi will share in a moment, there's some real statistics out there that this stuff is just um, absolutely uh, critical to, you know, it's just your all overall uh, branding. With that, Bambi, you want to jump into some stats for us? Absolutely. Hey, everybody. So you, as you know, with the impact of positive reviews, that's what everyone's goal is when it comes to Google reviews and other things of that nature. Um, but here's some stats that we've uncovered. So 85% of consumers trust online reviews as much as personal recommendations. Um, so what, what is listed on your online reviews absolutely matters when someone's making a decision about your business. Positive reviews make 74% uh, of consumers trust a local business more. 49% of consumers need at least a four-star rating before they choose to use a business. That's very powerful to keep in mind. Um, a lot of people believe a 3.9 is great, but if you go by that stat, about half of uh, people make a decision that you need to be a four or above. Consumers read an average of seven reviews before trusting a business, so each review does matter, and a strong employer brand can reduce the cost per hire by as much as 50%. Um, and as far as the impact of negative reviews, you know, obviously when someone says a negative review, that is already a, a gut punch for a business. But here's some stats from the Harvard Business School working paper. Every additional star Yelp rating causes an increase in the business's revenue as high as 9%. Of course, you could probably say the same thing, relatively speaking, in regards to Google. Um, businesses commonly face when it comes to negative reviews, trolls, non-real consumers or clients leaving negative reviews, competitors leaving negative reviews reviews, upset customers, and of course, disgruntled ex-employees. 60% of consumers say that negative reviews made them not want to use a business. So you may think that, oh, that one or two negative reviews doesn't make a difference, but actually it does and can. Thanks, Bambi. Um, before we get uh, into the uh, technology, just some common terms that, again, I think everyone's familiar with, but I always like to make sure that we're all talking the same language. So when we talk about ratings, you know, specifically, we were, you know, we're talking about stars, right? And normally that's in a one to five. I guess the Alignable is a little one that's different because they do one to 10. Uh, but most of the time we see one to five. Um, reviews means those customer comments. So we normally link rating and reviews together as the same, you know, but they actually have two separate uh, meanings. Social media sites, I think everybody knows what they are. But again, you know, if you're Google Business Profile, Glassdoor, Facebook, all of these. And the other one. Um, is your website. Some of you may or may not be using that as uh, for posting um, reviews, but that's also a valuable uh, place to do that. Bad reviews is, uh, uh, has a specific um, definition. Um, and I think there's two types. There's technical bad reviews that, that uh, Bambi mentioned, and then there's, the, you know, just the uh, uh, sometimes <laughs> things go wrong. So we'll talk about both of those in a minute. And then automation and integration, um, that's the key, you know, for what we do in our software is we try and automate and integrate workflows to make things easier, uh, to eliminate uh, uh, errors and, and emissions. And we'll be talking about that in terms of this process as well. So let's uh, let's look at the process of, of and we're going to start with, um, you know, the, 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 the technology of collecting and posting reviews so and the you know but truthfully the process is really simple right there's basically three things that happen the uh, customer does something 
um, you know, a transaction of some type that you want to get reviewed for. And you can, we can either wait and hope that they do something on their own, or we can go ahead and request a rating and a review. And then once we have that, then we have to do the next part, which is get it posted. Now, all those are seem like pretty simple, but there's a problem. And it really comes down to, um, in my experience, to consistency and, and the time to do it, right? There are some technological issues. You know, how do you trigger a request? Um, you know, how do you make sure that the right email or, or text or um, uh, text messaging and content is right and, and goes out in the proper timing? Um, how do you control what's posted? Um, and when it is posted, what do you do about it? So all these create the problem, the frustration for us as users. Do we have the time to do it and can we manage it properly? So what do we want out of automation? Well, this is our list. You know, one, we want something that uh, says, hey, look, um, there's a, a, an event, a specific event, a specific type of event that's going to trigger a rating and review a, a request. Secondly, we want to um, make sure that that request that is sent in either by email or text at our, our choice or both, and that it's done in, as a, in what we call a drip campaign multiple times. So that there's actually a study that says it's many that four times before you're going to get actually get your review. Um, in an automated world, we only want to post the good re reviews, right? We don't want to go out and collect reviews and then have bad reviews being posted automatically by us. That's kind of a not really the most effective idea. So we want to make sure that we can uh, control and, and post only the good stuff. Um, and then we want to make sure we can respond uh, appropriately to the, to our customers when they do us a review. And then, as I said, you know, I think posting to a website is a good idea. So we want to be able to do that as well. So those are kind of our goals for the for automation. Um, so let's just kind of review the, the that from a technological point of view. Again, there's kind of three things that are going to happen. First of all, we have to have a trigger, right? There needs to be something that triggers sending a request. Preferably, that's totally automated. Um, the secondary one is that it's semi-automated, and you know, at some point, we'll show you both options. But either way, you need something to happen. So, what when it does that, what you want to do is, in, I'm using the word tagging. You want to be able to tag that customer and that event so that they get the right rating and review request, right? And then third, you want your technology then to be able to go out and say, okay, now I know what, what customer it is, what the message I want to send, now how many times do I want it to be sent? So you want to be able to set up, as I said, the typical word for it is a drip campaign, which means it's going to come out one, two, three, or four times based upon some time frame. Once that the review is... Uh, we get a review. The next part of our technology we want to do is how do, how do we post that? Um, and again, there's there's the first part is there's two options. You know, one is the totally automated. Can you, can you set the number of stars that you want it to automatically post? And if you can, then that's another step of auto, automation. If not, then again, it's semi-automated. It comes in and then you react by saying, okay, oh, well, that's four stars. I'm going to go ask my customer to then go ahead and post and send out some type of a uh, a request. From my point of view, obviously, the more automation, the better. Go back to the timing. Uh, once it's there, posting to your web page that should be pretty easy. I mean, that's an it should be totally automated. You don't need permission from anybody to post to your web page, so that's automatic. Posting to social media, a um, little bit different. Uh, you're not permitted to post some other someone else's review for you know some obvious reasons. But what we can do is provide those links automatically uh, so that it makes it easier for the customer to then go ahead and post those reviews. Um, and each of these topics, I've just provided a little bit of an insight into, you know, how you might evaluate different pieces of software um, for ratings and review software. There's a ton of them out there. Uh, I, I kind of just focused on the two, uh, two different ones. One is the output, which is a uh, retail focused. And, and I think, you know, focus is one of the key things you want to do when you're looking for a software. What What is the focus of that company software? Uh, you wouldn't want to use the retail software if you're, you know, in like ours focus is primarily service business. 
Uh, then you want to look for, you know, what are the, what are the, what are the, uh, to me, the trigger is, is probably the biggest thing. Do they have automated trigger events? Um, in the case of retail, it's pretty, it, it, you know, why I say them it's a manual, it is actually usually happens when they buy something, right? So if, the, if they buy something and it's going to be a trigger, um, in our case, it's workflows. Um, and then what tools do they have? Um, and again, can they do a drip campaign? And obviously pricing is, is an issue as well. Moving on to monitor, monitoring. So what we just reviewed is is like I don't know, the one side of the process where we automate it, it's automated, we can control it with technology. Now there's the other side. This is where the, the customer has posted somebody, you didn't re request it, they did it on their own. And you want to have the ability to monitor and manage that. Now, the good news, again, there's a lot of software out there that does that. Um, I'm showing here just one that this is actually uh, created by Visa, um, and it's offered through uh, um, uh, Global Payments Integrated if you're using them for a merchant account. But uh, and I'm not going to go into too much detail, but basically it, it tracks not only your online presence, uh, but it also you can compare yourself to your competitors. And it also gives you the ability to do direct uh, management of it um, and, and do a direct responses to it. So very easy way to um, to really you know manage carefully your your uh, online presence. Um, we're in the process, uh, by the way, of, of developing a piece that'll do this as well, and we'll, that'll be integrated into our software very shortly. And we'll talk about that a little bit later as well. Here's some others. Again, just some ones you might want to consider. Um, all do monitoring, including ourselves. Um, question to do some repair. What's the price? I just did a price level on these. A lot of them out there uh, that'll do it uh, for you as well. So now comes the inevitable. Um, what happens when you get a bad review? All right. So I'm going to, before I turn this over to Bambi, I just, uh, I, I think the first, you know, there's, there's two pieces of advice that are very simple. One is respond very quickly, but the second is how do you respond? And, and I, um, have gotten more and more turning to my buddy Chat Chat GPT or other AI. Uh, give great advice on how to respond. Um, so I suggest you take a look at that whenever you have a negative review that you need to respond to. Uh, but with that, I'm going to turn it over to Bambi for a little more detail on that. Sure. So a lot of people don't realize that your negative reviews you're not captive to your negative reviews. So every site has something called terms of service. And when someone violates terms of service, that has the ability to have it removed. So these are just some examples um, in, in terms of that. So if somebody leaves a negative review and they're demonstrating false information that are asserted as facts, but materially false, that can be removed. Um, if there's a conflict of interest or bias, like a former competitor, past employees, or other business affiliations, or if there was any incentivizing reviews, that can be removed. Obviously, plagiarized reviews um, would not be tolerated, and any any appropriate or offensive content, such as private information, can also be removed. Great. All right, so as we get down to, you know, I think the, the real um, substance of this is going to be getting into what kind of questions and answers you have about specifics, but you know, to me, the checklist that you want to look for when you're looking at automating this is, you know, to me, the, the Number one is, do you have a work, some type of a trigger, whether in our case, when it's a service business, it's a workflow trigger of some sort. Um, if it's, uh, secondly, you know, you need to go out and be able to, if you want to, you know, increase your volume, you can't just ask once. Uh, you need at least three requests um, and do it in an automated drip campaign. Um, third is having an automated uh, re uh, response for review and making sure that's personalized. And also, it's uh, um, specific for each type of event. And then uh, we talked about monitoring, making sure you were able to monitor your sites and, you know, getting uh, an ability to react to them quickly uh, in the case of there are bad reviews.